What can we change on this one? So there's a screen over the image, as you can see. So that's a color that we can change. This D we can change. Let's just change it to bold, for example. So th this we want to change to a B. And then design text we want to change to the word bold. And then we want to change the colors. So let's have a quick look. And we just want to go into this module here. Then we're going to change this to bold. Let's just keep it in all caps to be sure. Of course, you can change this text as well. Let's keep scrolling. Here's the image. Uh, you want to make sure that you upload the image at exactly the same size as this one. Now, we've already made it easy for you. Uh, we've indicated here the image size. So it's 150 by 151 pixels. So you can prepare that beforehand before you upload it so let's just type in bold again uh, and then yep there's an image and we need to go through the rest let's see what we got here there's the text color which we want to change to our preferred green i'm just going to go with a dark green let's do that and paste it in there let's keep scrolling nothing further here and then inside the custom CSS, we're going to have a neat look here. You can see there's the content. Uh, that was a D, so we need to change it to a B. And then we've got the green color here as well. Or in fact, it's purple. We want to change it to the green that I've just copied. And then let's take a look further. Background color. Let's leave that for now. And let's have a quick look and see what we got. Here you can see. Okay, but the screen on top of the image is still the same. And for that, we need to go into the custom CSS. So I'm just going to save this uh, update. And then we need to go to our master CSS file. Uh, the screen, we're going to make a mint green. So I'm just copy, copying that. And then we want to look for the typography hover blurb. You just want to match that circle image background color. It's clearly indicated here. So I'm just going to replace that. And then we're just going to copy this rule and paste it onto the page. Page level CSS. Paste that in. And then we click save. Update. And if we go back and reload the page, we should be good to go. There you can see all set with the color that we're looking for. That's how you update it. Thanks for watching.